Hi guys, Banker and Lawrence, and we're here to talk about something very uncomfortable. <sighs> Melodic minor scales. Melodic minor scales are like regular minor scales, except for we're gonna mess with the key signature a little bit. So before we talk about anything, let's talk about minor scales. Minor scales share the same key signature as a major scale. We're just gonna start and end on a different note. Mm -hmm. So for this scale, we're gonna learn the G minor scale, and we're gonna start and end on G but we're gonna have the same key signature as B flat major. So what is that key signature? We're gonna have a B flat and an E flat. Okay. And here is what the natural two octave G minor scale sounds like. That's the natural minor scale. But for some reason, probably a reason that somebody way smarter than me can tell you, <laughs> uh, we don't really play those for auditions. No. So for ILMEA and other things, you need to learn your melodic minor scale. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that same key signature, except for we're gonna take the sixth and seventh scale degree, which is basically the same thing as playing the sixth and seventh note, and we're gonna raise it up a half step. And so, so that means, E flat becomes E natural. And F natural becomes F sharp. Oof. Going up. You wanna hear what that sounds like? Yes. Okay. <laughs> So you're going to do that going up your scale for both of the octaves mm -hmm. and then going down the scale just because you're going to take those away and you're going to play your natural minor scale. Mm -hmm. And so this is what the whole thing's going to sound like. Okay. On the way up, it sounds kind of happy and sad mixed. And on the way down, just natural minor. <gasps> <sighs> Gotta prepare. <laughs> Let's watch the fingers on that one. twos they sometimes become regular ones and high twos and that's what we were talking about with raising the sixth and seventh note of the scale so you have a low two on the G string on the way up and on the way down but on the D string you have a high two on the way up and a low two on the way down so this is where you really need to be careful and watch your scale sheet and keep track of those notes when they are natural when they are flat and when they are sharp and if you're like banker and you don't like to look at your scale sheet <laughs> and you like to play everything by ear, just rewind it and listen a couple of times and you'll really start to understand how this one is supposed to sound uh, with those sixth and seventh notes mm -hmm. raised. All right. Wasn't uh, too bad. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs>